a sports psychologist, work for the U.S. Olympic Committee, um, and uh, one of the things that, that I was talking about here is that one slice of that work, uh, which is not the performance side so much as the, the mental health side, and uh, one of the things I was talking about is just the sudden rapid increase in awareness about mental health issues and seeming increase in mental illness rates in young adults, in athletes, um, and in the general population. You know, there's lots of fascinating interactions between sport and mental health where um, on one hand, sport has been shown and exercise has been shown to really improve mental health. Uh, at the same time, if an athlete is under-recovered, you know, what we used to call overtraining, but now we call under-recovery, um, they're not adapting well to the, to the training they're doing. That can actually contribute to fatigue, can it contribute to feelings of feeling down. It fits a lot of the same criteria as you would for someone who's depressed. It's a mind-body interaction. We're not sure exactly where one starts and one stops, but uh, we do know that there is an interaction. It's my first time at this conference and uh, I definitely want to, want to return. There's a ton of interesting data on injury, prevention of injury, uh, lots of fascinating speakers from around the world and um, some really cutting edge stuff.